Lots of people talk about servant leadership, yet many still opt for self-centered leadership styles. I get it. Early in my career, I was much more about pursuing power than serving other employees. So why does servant leadership present such a challenge? Well, authentic servant leadership demands a different belief system from which we currently believe. Many of us leaders adapted the individual leadership style driven by the teaching of American culture. Culture teaches that we individuals are the most important person to serve. We are taught to pursue our interests, manipulate circumstances to our advantage, and always consider ourselves better than others. The result? Poor leadership styles we all deplore and that sap the pleasure of work. We can do better. To do better, we must remove our current belief system and exchange it for the wisdom of Christ. Christ epitomizes the servant leader and has much to teach us about the characteristics of servant leadership. Our challenge is to believe Christ's teachings to the point we will risk our careers to follow him. Only then will we start to transition to servant leaders who positively impact all our stakeholders. Christ sets the servant tone for us when his disciples were becoming overrun with petty jealousies, misunderstandings about his mission, and infatuation with the latest leadership fads. Christ gathers the disciples and tells them, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be last, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. There is the core of servant leadership. Christ was convinced his mission was to come to earth, voluntarily give his life so we may have salvation. The belief in his calling was bolstered by his love of God, which motivated him to do God's will. As business leaders who decide to follow Christ, we must adopt a similar conviction that our mission is to serve all our stakeholders. We have been gifted to lead and run businesses, which is a major facet of our life purpose. Our love of Christ motivates us to follow his teachings, which increases the love for our stakeholders. So here are the simple building blocks to servant leadership, which Christ models for us. Number one, acquiring the correct belief system, which is the humble teachings of Christ. Number two, love for others a deep love for Christ and every human he created. And finally, the right mission, to lead with a servant's heart. Take a moment, think through your belief system, your level of concern for others, and the clarity of your life purpose to better understand what is blocking you from becoming the best leader you can be.